Friday morning, everybody. Let's make it a good one. It's ultrasound day. It's earlier than it should be. Yeah. 7.30 a.m. in Winnipeg. We don't live in Winnipeg. We live a little ways away. So we got a bit of a hike first thing this morning, but we're awake and uh, ready to make it a good day. Yeehaw. Going out the door. Unlock the fortress. Oh, the sun's coming up already. That's exciting. Here we go. Oh, so she's got to go all the way up there somewhere. I gotta jump wait. Real high. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'll be back. All right. Have fun. Ugh, it's windy. Oh, it's windy again. Well, she goes up there. I stay down here. <clears throat> We still have it. Uh, we still have some restrictions here in Manitoba. Most of our uh, restrictions regarding COVID are, are gone now. It's mostly life back to normal. Mostly on a federal level, that's a different uh, ball game altogether. Uh, but we we'll talk about that another day. But as of now, uh, the restrictions still say that only she can go up into the office. And you know. It sort of makes sense. It's kind of a little better that way. I think that way it doesn't get so clogged up with people up there. There's a lot of people in the that go to the clinic. I don't mind waiting down here. I wish I could be up there for the bigger surgeries though. This is just an ultrasound. But like next week when we go for the egg retrieval, I keep saying we. I'm not getting my eggs retrieved. When she goes for the egg retrieval, I'd really like to be in there for that because it's a it's a more of a invasive big procedure and I, I think she's a little nervous about it i'm nervous about it anyways and if i'm nervous about it she's got to be nervous about it right so I, I wish i could be there but i'll have to wait down here but they got good doctors and nurses up there i'd probably just get in the way anyway and then uh, when she's done i'll drive her home and uh for this week i will be waiting on her well this week and for the rest of this whole until the baby's born i'll be waiting on her hand and foot is that the saying i will be the servant the servant husband whatever she needs we just want to make sure that this works and we want to keep her stress levels down her physical exertion levels down so she doesn't have to lift anything do anything i think i'm a little more nervous than she is for some reason is that weird she seems to be handling it all just fine she's had five days of injections now totally level level head like they warned us like there might be like uh, a roller coaster of emotions and stuff because a whole bunch of hormones and stuff that are going wild right but no she handled it like a champ she was actually pleasant like really pleasant like in a really good mood all week because she always is she's always pleasant don't get me wrong but i thought this week maybe you know it might be a little bit rocky no 100 percent it was a great mood all week. It's been a great week at home, great week in the house. She's been in a very good, very, very positive mood. I think for the most part, I'll let her speak for herself when she gets back, but she's just really excited to get this whole thing on the road and her whole life goal. Like my life dream, career-wise, was to be a truck driver, right? It's career-wise and to have a family. Family-wise, I always wanted to have children too. For her, her whole uh, dream in life was to be a mom. It's the only thing that she's that's the thing that she's wanted the most and uh, so this is the steps we're taking to reach that goal and I think that that really makes her happy that that's that's happening for her well wait till she comes back down and I'll let her speak for herself and she can let you guys know how she's feeling about it all she's back she's back status report <laughs> uh, some of the eggs are are uh, responding to the drugs, we gotta go get me one more needle to add to the two that I'm still apparently taking. Okay, okay. Now we're gonna do three a night for the next three days for sure. Fun. 
Good times. So when's our next appointment? 8 a.m. on Monday. 8 a.m. Monday. Okay, I'll have to let work know. Yes. Okay. Was it okay? Are you good? I'm good. Yeah? How are you feeling? Tired. Hungry. Mm, hungry. Okay. Let's go get some let's, food. Let's fix that. Well, let's go get some drugs first, then some food. Drugs and food. Okay. So we're here at our drug dealers. This pharmacy has a specific, uh, specific drugs, or this is where we get the needles for IVF. We have to come to this pharmacy. You can get them at other pharmacies, but this one is the one they use all the time, right? So they're very specific to this kind of stuff. Yeah, well, you can get them at other pharmacies, but they'd have to order them in, and most pharmacists aren't trained in these kind of drugs. Okay. So you gotta come. Just Cinnabon Pharmacy. That makes sense. Yeah. The pharmacist here was really nice last time. He let me come in there too. He actually let me come in, whereas at the other place I'm not allowed to come in. He actually gets to be part of something. Yeah, I get So this is the fun part for me. I get to be part of it. And then he uh, explains to us how to use it and how to inject. And then there's two sets of ears in there listening so that, you know, if it's a little overwhelming, there's two of us that uh, get taught how to use it. Learning. Even though I think sometimes I'm a little more overwhelmed than she is. A little more anxious than me and I'm the one with anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have Truck World coming up, right? And it's a big deal, it's a, a big event and that's happening right in the middle of this whole IVF thing. Right in dead center in the middle of it. And I'm trying to balance both this, all of these appointments and being there for her and truck world and we're also doing the expo next week but that's just in the evening that's close to home so uh, uh i'm trying to make sure that everything balances out and then plus to be here for these appointments i have to make sure i'm uh, communicating with my work to make sure they know when uh all of these appointments are as well so that's that's my part of it but that's just you know overwhelming in my head she's the one who actually has to uh get the needles so I'm trying not to make it sound like it's about me, because it's not. <laughs> He's been good at it today, though. <laughs> so we're a little bit of impulsive people. Just a little bit. Especially when it comes to food. <laughs> we were going to go and, you know, spend like 10, 15 bucks on Timmy's. But then we saw Red Lobster. We're like... By we, he means me, and he's trying to make his hormonal wife happy. I was like, ooh, red lobster, you want to eat there? Yep. Sure do. It's lobster fest. We're having lobster for lunch. Because we're fancy like that. Very, very bougie. Very bougie. Very bougie. Yes. Your water is on the way. Yes, I'm so excited. She asked if we're celebrating anything. Nope, just lunch. <laughs> just making your wife happy. Because you come with red lobster. Usually, usually celebrating something. Yeah, usually. No, nah, we're just bougie. We're celebrating a new injection? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Brett says that Biscuits are, are complimentary at Lobster lo Lobster House. What are we at? Red Lobster. Red Lobster. He's deliriously hungry. Yes. Oh. Oh, what like melts in your mouth. Yeah, I told you they don't need butter. I'm telling mm. you, they're amazing. They have uh, recipes for these online all the time. Wow. I've made them before and they are. Whew, I've made them since I was like a teenager though. So Red Lobster, is that a Canadian thing? Mm. Do you guys have them in the States? Pretty, yeah, they do. in the States. There's only three left in Canada. This is oh, one of them. Oh, that's what it was. There was something special about this one. It's one of the last ones left in Canada. They're and it's in the States. middle of the continent. So the seafood here is uh, it's a luxury. <laughs> it's shrimp. Shrimp. We do. Yeah. It's shipped far and wide.
thought they were coming for us. What are those people doing in that fancy of a restaurant? So since we went and picked up prescriptions for Brett, human prescriptions, we also had to stop by our animal hospital and pick up our dog prescriptions for Wiener. He has a heart condition. He's got an enlarged heart. He has to have a pill twice a day. Oh, every 12 hours has to have a pill for the rest of his life. And so we had to come in and uh, fill that prescription. The pet pharmacy. There she comes. She's got the goods. Got the goods. I just said that. <laughs> it's like we've been spending some time together or something. I know, right? Can you tell we're married? Oh, you can definitely tell we're married if you meet us. I was just telling we got the uh, the human... We went to the human pharmacy, and now we stopped at the pet pharmacy. Yep. A lot of drugs. A lot of drugs in this family. Household full of drugs. <laughs> Only two left? Well, three left in there. That's what it looks like. That's his little pill for his heart. So there's two left in here. It says one more day's worth. That's why we went and got the, the new pills. Just for you, Wiener. You just put it in there, you see it right there? And he doesn't even notice it. Wait for it. Don't forget your pill wiener. You got it? You got it? Sometimes he misses it, so you gotta make sure he gets it. Oh, he's saving it for last, are you? It's right there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, is he gonna miss it this time? Usually he has it down the hatch by now. Oh, wait, no, I think he got it. I think he got it. There it is, it's gone. Down the hatch. And that's how our wiener dog eats. <laughs> Chevy sort of eats the same. Big Frank over there and Diesel eat very gingerly. But Chevy here, come over here, Chevy. Can you sit, Can you wait. Ready? And go. It's a little dark here right now. <laughs> I don't even taste it. <sighs> Spoiler alert. Winter's back. Even the birds in the tree there are like... WTF, what's going on? Manitoba. What can I say? So this week and next week uh, is heavily focused on our IVF. As you can tell. And uh, once we're uh, through with the surgery, which will be next weekend, or this coming weekend, uh, it'll be back to... Uh, trucking for the next month until we do the transfer. Hopefully this snow doesn't stick around too long, but this is, we, we had all grass out here already. Like this, this is all melted. Are you remember we had like a lake back there? It was finally starting to sink into the ground. The ground was starting to thaw. <sighs> Third winter always catches you by surprise. You gotta wonder these people who moved to Manitoba from like tropical climates and stuff. Like, I want to know the salesperson that convinced them to move here. Like, man, I bet they could sell anything. Right? But thanks for watching today anyways. I'll see you tomorrow.